the current model of the internet uh, is a multi-stakeholder model. Uh, we all know what that is. We know the role that ICANN has. We know the role that the IETF has. Uh, all of these are important entities that make the internet work as we know it today. Uh, most people, uh, at least I think attending this meeting, IGF USA would agree that it's working pretty well. Maybe not all, but certainly most. Now, if you look at the developing world, and the ITU is primarily the home of the, the developing world countries, who have long complained that they don't have the kind of uh, multi-stakeholder infrastructure that we have. They don't have an OECD, for example. So they need a place that they can go and to talk about various problems that involve everything from the circuit switch world that we're la rapidly leaving behind to the IP world. And there are views that the ITU should have a greater role in not just the technical standards development that goes into the IP world, even though most of that work really is in the IETF, where it properly should be. But there are other elements, for example, the underlying transport network. A lot of that work is done in the IT. Other standards groups around the world are doing important work to bring it to the ITU and make it a global standard. There are all kinds of views on that. So I think when you add all of this together, and it's interesting to see the evolution of this from the WISIS, it's been with us for a while, the IGF is, of course, an outcome of the WISIS, of what the IT is doing. The IT is trying to empower its own ongoing review of the WISIS outcome. It now has a so-called forum. It's almost a parallel to an IGF. So there is a lot, a lot going on. There are concerns, and we've heard some earlier this morning and other meetings that a few here, that the ITU uh, would certainly slow down uh, any kind of decision-making and the operation of, of, a, of a global network.